I'm Melanie Melody. I'm Canadian, born in Toronto. I'm a artist, performer, producer, and a whole bunch of other things. My idea of perfect happiness is being fabulous, having lots of platform boots, and being really tall. My greatest fear right now is falling off my motorcycle, drowning in my car, and lately it's been driving over a homeless person by the side of the road in a paper bag. I, I don't know why, it's just something that's been bugging me. <laughs> I think the person that I admire the most is probably my husband, who's a self-made man and has managed to retain his sense of humor and always um, be a total inspiration to me and encourage me and believe in me. The characteristic I most dislike in myself is being small. The characteristic I most dislike in others is the fact that they're all taller than I am. I lie when I have to. I'd say one of the biggest challenges in my life is my son, Zach, who is always challenging me at all kinds of things. I think right now I am most excessive about working out because I like to keep myself really healthy and fit and uh, I'm really enjoying having the time to be able to do it. I think the most overrated virtue is humility. When one is humble, I, I think that is like so not happening. I think you have to always be very bold and very sure of yourself and toot your own horn. And you know, forget this humility stuff. It's bullshit. <laughs> well, I really like where I live right now. I, my husband built a castle for me. I, I just really hate cleaning it, but you know, that's part of the job. But I wouldn't mind if I could live in another exciting city like London or Paris or, or LA or New York. I mean, I'm a big city gal and that's what I like best because it's most exciting. I would say my most obvious characteristic is probably my laugh. And if you listen carefully to some early episodes of Saturday Night Live, I was in the audience for the first three years and you can hear me laughing all the time. It's really cool. <laughs> I think the talent I would most like to have would be able to be a little more proficient in a studio situation to maybe understand logic and Pro Tools and all these technical things that, that I just don't have the capabilities of digesting in my brain. And if I could do that, then I wouldn't be so dependent on other people and other people's time schedules to make things happen when I go into a studio and I wanna just sing and do something, you know? Okay, I'm really sorry, but the lowest depth of despair, it does not apply to me at all. Unless, of course, you can consider the time I was part of Saddam Hussein's harem, but, you know, that was a while ago, and I don't like to talk about that. I think if I came back as anything, it would probably be a bad kitty or a Las Vegas showgirl. And if the gods chose for me, it would probably be as a drag queen. I get the most satisfaction out of performing, singing songs, being on a stage, hanging out in the kitchen making a cake, hanging out in my basement doing some art. I don't know, I get, I get a lot of satisfaction out of doing a lot of different things. The top thing on my to-do list is my farewell tour. Because once I do my farewell tour, I can do the comeback tour. I think if I had another career, I would probably be a racing car driver because I love driving really fast. I just, I love it. I love getting behind the wheel of my car and stepping on the gas and just driving. I think I would like to receive every single award that is possible. Um, I would like a, an Oscar and I would like a Grammy for singing and and an Oscar of course would be for acting in some fabulous film or something and and then I would like to get uh, a few video awards for some of my amazing videos that are are happening that have happened and that are gonna happen and um, maybe some Bessies and some Cleos for um, some more commercial projects and you know I'll 
I can take them all. It's fine. Just give them to me. <laughs> My ambition was in the beginning to be an actress, probably. I mean, I was doing a lot of theater from the time I was about eight years old. At 21, I went to New York City to totally learn my craft. And when I was at school, they told me I should leave and get out there and get a job because I wasn't like an actress type. I was more a personality type. So as I got older, I realized I could still be a performer, but I could be more in control of who that performer was. My husband, he's like my rock of Gibraltar and he totally believes in me and and he encourages me and and he's there for me if anything ever happens that's awful and sometimes awful things happen, but he's there when all the great things happen too. So he's like, he's there, he's so there. I love him. My mother, was a frustrated performer. She could have been a professional actress. And she got me involved in theater when, when I was very young. And then just, you know, it was that whole thing. I mean, coming home in the afternoon and seeing her entertaining, you know, drag queens in the backyard with cucumber sandwiches and tea. She was a nonstop, you know, crazy woman, but like the best energy. And, and I think she was, you know, really, uh, really a big influence in, in my life. My present state of mind, I would say, at this stage in my life is probably that I still want more. <laughs> I want more, more, more of everything. And as far as I'm concerned, it's never too late. And I'm just, you know, as long as I'm here, I'm going to keep on trying and I'm going to keep on wanting more. And I'm going to get it because I always get what I want. I think my motto or the words that I live by are probably do it to death because you do it to death to such an intense degree that you're nearly dead, but then you come back to life. So it's like do it to death and back to life kind of thing. It's, you just got to give it your all, all the time. Like you just got to do it as intensely as you possibly can and be great about it.